Welcome back everyone, my name is Malaise and this is another episode of our playthrough of Tyranny. So I noticed that we have a bonus from resting at the spire that came from last time still. So that's actually pretty nice. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Time to lighten my step. Can't do that. I have to admit, I much prefer this whole... Or a raider. I wonder if that means he's going to attack me. So we've got, let's see, at least multiple enemies up there. So before I go up there, I'm going to explore down here. Atoll? Absolutely not. I've come through Ironhall Trail more times than I can remember. No one has ever asked for a toll before, and I won't be paying one now. Fatebinder, surely you, of all people, can help me. My name is Aster, and I must get to Lathian's Crossing. I have goods to deliver. Tell this man I will not be paying a toll to him or anyone, or as he is to let me through. Greetings, Fatebinder. I am sorry you have been drawn into this. What you stumble to here is merely a conflict of the changing times. I am Will of the Bronze Brotherhood. Ironhall Trail is under our protection, and anyone passing through must obey our rules. I find it interesting that someone is putting this place under their protection, and now we have to follow their rules. It's like they just take possession of this, like we're invaders now, I guess. But, I don't know, I don't really have any background to say that the Aster guy is not lying either. Maybe he's bringing in illegal weapons or something, who knows. If this gentleman would like to pass this through our land, a simple donation is required. These funds help our cause and help keep Ironhall a safe place for all travelers. Clearly you both can see the value in that. So it stays safe because if we don't pay him, he's going to be the source of the violence, I'm assuming. <laughs> that doesn't seem legitimate, but okay. And who, exactly, is keeping it safe? You, standing there with your weapons at the ready against me? I am not but a traveling merchant. I have no money to spare, and I certainly pose no threat to anyone. Keep this area safe indeed. You are the only threat here. Fatebinder, please, talk some sense into this man. So this actually has to do with Lathian's Crossing. I don't really care that much either way, but I'd rather fight these guys that are threatening us than pay. So, this realm will not be paying a toll today. Call your gods off and allow us passage immediately. Thank you, Fatebinder. You have done a great deal of good today. And you, brute, move aside and let me pass. Perhaps you want to reconsider your stance on the matter, Fatebinder. Passage is bought with rings or blood, but I'll happily take both. Oh, okay. Well, I stand by my attention, sir. I thank you for your efforts, Fatebinder, but it is not worth bloodshed. I will leave in peace. After all that? After all that, you just walk away. So, a Fatebinder in our little corner of the world. Who would have ever thought this would happen? Normally, I'd knock you down where you stand for threatening me. But the Rom Tom and demanded to see if you'd come through here. I thought he was crazy saying you'd visit Lathian's Crossing. Looks like I owe him a few rings. Not that there's a short of those around here. What can a humble servant of the Brotherhood do for you, Fatebinder? And don't ask me to let you through, because that isn't happening. Someone made the mistake of giving this little man too much power, and he's about to discover what happens when you stand in our way. If you think that's going to get him to move, go ahead. With pleasure. Hey, shit meat! <laughs> do you plan on moving your ass this century? Or do we have to stand here jarring like a bunch of greybeards? We're on a mission, and staring at your ugly mug and catching up on the past won't get it done any faster. Are you going to move on? Or do I need to start cutting? Because I'm partial to either option. <laughs> the mercenary's mouth hangs open in disbelief. He swallows and attempts to gather his pride. I would help you, 
but my my boss told me to guard this bridge. No one get gets by without Rom Tomin's permission. Kiros, give me strength. You deserve this far more than I enjoy it. She swings her fist and lands a punch with a meaty whack, knocking back the Brotherhood mercenary's head. Hold on, I'm just doing my job. I apologize if I offended. Rom Tommy will have my head if I let you through. There's nothing I can do about it. And here's the Fate Binder. I knew we'd see you. I was just wondering when. What brings you out where no one asks you to come? Are Kiros' dogs ready to be put down again? I won't surrender the crossing, nor how many matter how many times you try to take it. We were hired to protect the city, and we will continue to do so. No one else will have it. Never mind. I don't care why you're here. My name is Rom Tommen, and I am the leader of the Bronze Brotherhood. But I'm sure you already know that. I couldn't help but see you over here, talking to Will and that traveling merchant. Only here for a moment and already sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, aren't you? I don't appreciate others invading my territory, fate binder. I told him he had to speak with you, Ritaman. He wanted to. He wanted, though, through, but I told him no. And if you don't give me the signal, the fate binder isn't getting into Lathian's crossing. No will invade your territory. Watch yourself while you're our guest in my land. If you have to come to stir up more trouble, we are well equipped and will not back down in the defense of what is rightly ours. Welby and I might not always agree, but that is one point we do see eye to eye on. If you step out of line, we will both correct you. You are not welcome here. Now tell me what you want or leave. Hmm. Why are you charging travelers a toll to get through Iron Hall Trail? I don't see how the affairs of the Brotherhood are your business, Fatebinder. Suffice it to say, the funds we receive from our tolls help us keep the lands around Lathian's Crossing safe. We owe them our dues and we shall have them. Well, I think I can always come back and engage him at pretty much any time. Not really any hurry, so... I need to get to the Lathian's Crossing. Absolutely not. You must be crazy if you think I'm letting a disfavored sympathizer through to my city. Who knows what plans you would make to undermine my authority. You have some nerve, Fatebinder. I'm kind of running out of options then. I need to get there, so... I tried to be reasonable, but you had to make it difficult. I know you couldn't be trusted, Cad. The forces of Kiros will always show their true face if pushed. Guards, we have a snake in our midst. To arms! Hmm. I like how it lets him run away. So, for some reason, I have a feeling I'm going to get attacked from another direction, but that's fine. I'm going to have my hero run in and attack the guy with the big two-handed sword. I want to take his hits, because my character is good against physical damage. Varric. Go ahead and use your attack skill on the raider. You use your buff spells, since we're all going to be in close. Alright, let's see how this goes. Send them out to the way! Alright, she's not engaged yet because there's no red arrow. Notice how when I put my cursor on my character, it selects both the enemy he's fighting with these flashing arrows, as well as mine because I have my cursor on him. The white arrow shows that I'm engaged with him. And if you look on some of the other heroes, like on Varric, there's a red line between these two. That line denotes that they are um, in battle with each other or engaged. And since she has no arrow with her, I can freely move her to another spot without the enemy getting an, an engagement bonus. Now she's not gonna, she might miss out on some of the buffs, but that's okay. I'd rather have her move back and use a fire arrow. My character is gonna sap the strength out of these characters, which will make me tougher and them weaker. It you really got fits it. fits into my home. <laughs> Varric's gonna use his power attack on the character that just got hit with the fire arrow, kind of doubling up their damage. 
And now that she is turning to run, he's gonna break away and get out of here. <laughs> nice, so she, characters are both fighting my character, so he's gonna turn and cast the seal on him. So if he gets low health, it'll automatically heal him. And then my character's gonna cast his heal, he casts himself. Farrakh's gonna use his attack when he's done being stunned. And she's gonna continue pelting this character with arrows. At once. And he should have, yeah, the mark on him for 30 seconds, so I don't need to heal him, it'll automatically heal him. So I'm gonna turn and attack this Gory. I'm gonna have her use a dart on the Gory. Everyone should just basically attack. I'm gonna go for the knockdown as well. Piece. Done. Now we can all change to this last target. <laughs> I'm terrified. Huh? Oh, we got an enemy coming in. So I'm going to have my character disengage because he's not currently attacked. Being attacked from behind. And have uh, Barrack move to intercept this new character. I'm going to have the archer move to close in because she can use her special ability if she does. And so that'll be good for them to work together. He may be terrified, but he's full health. So as long as they're attacking him, that's great. I'm going to use my healing ability on my a offensive um, melee character, Barrack, because he's going to take a lot of damage. I'll take care of it. And then he is going to attack and intercept this character. We should try that again. So we're going to do the arrow attack. He's going to do that. He's going to hopefully save him. Barrack's going to attack. <laughs> nice heal. Okay. Now buff him for extra damage. They're going to do their attack on him. <laughs> nice, that was devastating. So now I can have my character switch over and do Sunder on this character. And I'm going to have my archer turn into a flame arrow on the new attacker. Not happening. To help her. Not happening. You got it. Eric is low health. I'm going to go ahead and use one of his seven potions. And then do a super attack. Or, what is it called? Thrust? Striking iron. And then I'm going to do a dart. And then give uh, Varric the healing spell, so if he gets low on health, it'll automatically go off. Alright, so Varric's fine. He just got healed. Now I can go for the interrupt. Let her continue to just beat up on him. My character is basically just standing here and stomping on this guy. So now I'm gonna weaken him with his might. He needs to disengage to get out of there. But if he turns, he should be able to cast his spell and hit all of them. That'll make them all do more damage. Alright, she's gonna go for the knockdown on this guy. Man, that bruiser hits hard. Nice, dazed him. Let's go for the kill, boys and girls. Having all of them attack him. Actually, I'm going to have my healer laundry attack, or heal Barrack. Alright, I'm ready. Take that! Nice. And that character died. Perfect timing. Now we can turn and give my character. Well, he doesn't even need, he's never really even injured. I'm going to do Blood Soak Stone and finish this. Not happening. Got knocked back. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like we're completely surrounded by enemies. And there's some loot up there. I got it. Go ahead and do, do our formation. You know, I might want to 
change up this formation a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put my barrack in the back and move them up one square to make like an inverted cross almost. That way if we get attacked from behind we can use them and that way he can still use like his cone abilities to hit most of them. Moving cautiously. Alright, now to level up. So my character seems to be pretty darn tough when it comes to up close fighting because of his accuracy, armor deflection and everything. And an extra 5% bonus to health does sound really nice to make him even tougher. But... Endurance defense, I think he needs more magic defense. I think he needs more magic defense. Alright. Oh, 115 parry. That's nice. And uh, 55 athletics. He's got all kinds of effects. Alright, another skill point. So I've gotten lots of defensive abilities, but what I'm beginning to realize is like I need to be able to either Okay, I can get Shield Mastery too. I can get an even further bonus to a chance to strike multiple times. That's actually really nice, because now if I get a good weapon, I can actually start chewing down like enemies because I'll be able to hit them multiple times and that damage will really start to add up. So I'm going to go for that. Actually, that's awesome. Alright, do we have any cores? Distant impact. Oh, we've done that before. Hmm. Alright, so Will let's do. head south here. So that bonus to uh, extra attacks is going to be really nice. So who's this guy? A raider? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pop everybody out of stealth. And Malaise is going to charge in and use his Sender ability. I'll hold on Shift and then after that I'm going to use Touch of Atrophy. And then I'm going to use Thrust. So he'll use those three abilities one after another after another. What do you know? There's a bruiser in the back. Alright, she's going to use her... She's going to use her Fire Arrow on the bruiser first. Then she's going to use her Knockdown and then she's going to simply attack him. Lantry. Lantry's going to cast... Um, erase the record on Malaise as he runs in. So if he takes heavy damage, it'll automatically heal him. And then I'm still holding down Shift. He's going to cast uh, Titan's Touch on Malaise, which is going to make him tougher. And then he's going to cast Dart on the two-handed guy. And Barrack is going to use his single ability and he's going to attack the bruiser. Let's see how this goes. Trouble is <laughs> wow, what just happened? Auto pause, malaise, low health. So the bruiser hit me with an ability called Rive the Marrow, which then critically hit for 116 damage and nearly killed me instantly. But thank gosh, jeez, thank gosh I put the ability on him that heals him when he gets low health, because I gained two wounds instantly, and I had to have that heal go off, and I'm still, like, low health. So, Lantry's gonna stop what he's doing, and he's gonna immediately cast Quicken, and it looks like the range has been increased, maybe? Go ahead and do that. <laughs> Alright, Archer is still attacking. Just gonna go for that knockdown next, I hope. Oh, yeah, it's already loading. I can see it queuing right now. Alright, and then I'm gonna have the healer cast the heal on my character, and then I'm gonna have him cast the dart on the character that the archer is fighting. 
And then I'm gonna have him cast Greater Renewal, which make all of our armor more effective and make us do more damage. And then I'm gonna have him cast Surge of Glory, which will increase everybody's damage. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna have a Laze steal this guy's stats to make him more effective. Take a pretty heavy damage, so I'm gonna use my healing spells. I'll admit that from the there we go, we're getting attacking now. So I'm going to go. Wow, knock back in. I killed him, now I can attack this one. There I will kill you. You got him. He's casting fire, and now he's casting a heal. Okay, let's see, go for a. I'm gonna use Barrack and I'm gonna do Iron Tolling. Oh, he's dead, never mind. Well, alright, alright. Quiet down. Those are better than mine in every way except corrode armor. Nice. Alright, so now we gotta head up north and solve this problem. Can't believe Molly's got two wounds there, that's brutal. Alright, what have we got here? We got a raider, and we've got a raider. Okay. Molay's is going to cast his reduce damage healing spell then he's going to cast sunder on the farthest enemy now the archer is going to cast fire arrow on the closest enemy and then try to knock him down and then start attacking him the healer is going to cast the low health spell on malaise just in case it happens and then is going to shoot a dart at this closest character and Barrack is going to do his single ability on this closest character. Look at that! Future force. So, Malaise is not able to get to the- Oh, the character ran towards him. The spear is such a long range, I can't just swing over Malaise with Barrack in attack. And now I simply have to attack the character. Will do. All right, now we get some loot. They won't see me coming. Sigil of cyclical, cyclical energies. Select recovery sigil. Reduces the cooldown. Man, I wish I had the healing tree now. Right. Alright, cool. They all got some lore from that. That's awesome. So we can keep heading moving on. I'm actually going to probably rest here. Because these wounds, man, really messed me up. Go ahead and rest. Nighttime now. Okay, so now we're in this area. We can go continue heading to the Sunset Spire, or we can go to the Mountain Spire. Why is it glowing? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna head back then. I can always go to the Sunset Spire, and I've already gotten through that ambush, so I don't think they're going to try to ambush me again. They pretty much got wrecked last time. Hmm. 
didn't respond to my tut. So can I trade to this guy? I can. Sell, 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 sell. That bow is so much better than hers. I'm gonna buy it. It's almost all my money, but if anyone needs a bow, man, that one's fine. She does. And I think I've got some items down here that I can use. Heavy boots. My character can use those. She can use the bow. So I do lose some range, hmm. but 8 meters is not bad, and I lose some... Oh, okay, so I gain accuracy with this new one. Alright, I like. And these boots I have... Oh, the boots I have are better? No, the boots I have are worse. No, the guard boots are better, because it says they have better armor, better slash. No, I take it back. The ones I have in my inventory are better. There we go. Alright, well I know I can sell here and rest. Did all my wounds go away? Oh. Okay, okay, I like. I'm not sure why it was glowing, but I'll take it. So we're gonna keep heading towards the Sunset Spire. Two days, seven hours. Oh boy, look at all this stuff. Alright, well before we get into all this, because this is going to be a pretty detailed area I can see, seems like a good area for us to stop, so for right now. So I'd like to thank everyone who tuned in for this entire episode, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks, bye.